Buenos dias. Good morning. I'm Rachel and this is baby Osara. And we're here in Costa Rica. And I just, let me get the dogs here, can you see? <laughs> um, yeah, and I wanted to make a video about where I live because I love it so much and um, I know social distancing and all this pandemic stuff's got people down, perhaps. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to share about where I am because it's a beautiful place and it kind of can give you a little bit of a break from all that if you're needing to step out for a minute or if you're thinking about maybe where you want to step out to when you, yeah, get the opportunity to take a little breath of, breath of fresh air because as you can see here, you can definitely social distance just fine. No worries. Get some nice clean jungle air. It's usually in the 80s here. Can be a little humid in the humid in the summer. But you know, then you just jump in the water. Um, so yeah, I live in Bahia Drake. It's got a few names. Bahia Drake, Drake Bay, Aguahilos. Um, yeah, and check it out on a map because it's, I would say it's definitely one of the more remote places in Costa Rica that is still, um, you know, accessible, accessible by tourists, um, but still, you know, it takes a little, it's got that one extra filter that it takes, you know, it's for the people that really want to come here. So that's why, you know, it's like this little gem that I almost don't want to tell people about it, but I do because it's so amazing and... Yeah, it's just, it's one of those places that it was like when I got here, it was like, oh, this is what I imagine Costa Rica to be like. Um, and I fell in love with it from the beginning. Because, yeah, check it out on a map. It's on, it's on the southern Pacific side, on the Osa Peninsula. Um, and you can get here a few ways. You can get here by boat um, uh, from Sierpe, which is yeah, a town nearby. Or you can get here by plane, which isn't actually that much. From the capital, you can catch a flight, um, at least before the pandemic. I'm not sure now how much they are, but it was like 80 bucks. Um, or you can get here by, would recommend a 4x4 vehicle. And it's a little bit harder by car, because um, you can't, you just have to, you know, figure it out a little bit. But, you know, like on MapQuest, it doesn't even show a route to it, because there's no paved road and all that yet and that's kind of what's special about this place it's like one of those places before it's blown up and got super popular um, so definitely a place to come and enjoy now because yeah it feels remote you can have you know tons of beach to yourself super tranquil people won't be hassling you but also it has you know the amenities of tourist things too that maybe you want um, yeah, we're right, it's pretty much, you know, this little town in the jungle, and it's surrounded by, you know, we got the bay, we got the ocean, and then surrounded by um, Corcovado and other um, national reserves, national parks. Um, so lots of wildlife, you'll just see um, parrots flying around and monkeys, and, um, you know, we even ran into a tafir once, so... And it's a place that's known for the naturalessa, for the nature, um, and known for like its tours too. So if you're wanting just to come and get like a little nice experience, to and there's snorkeling, there's seeing dolphins and whales, and there's Cano Island, where you can go diving and scuba diving, and if you're into fishing, there's fishing. Bug tours and night tours and camping tours and yeah, it's just a place to if you're you know needing to be get a get a little break from all the quarantine and all the social distancing and maybe you don't feel like wearing a mask but you don't really want to fight about it you know you can come here and it's chill um, you know there's like one store that they kind of want you to wear one so you wear it it's not a big deal but other than that. 
you don't, you're not you're not really thinking about it. Um, you know, I don't really. It's hard. You don't really have to. Um, yeah, you don't. You kind of just get to step out from all the craziness going on in the world. Yet still be connected to the world. You know, you're still in a town with people and all that, but don't have to be mixed up with all the craziness. Um, yeah, so just want to let you guys know about this little gem, and I'd love to do, love to tell you more about it. Um, but if you're looking to step out, come check out Drake Bay by Ia Jacket. This is our morning walk every day along the beach. There's a trail. There's a trail that um, you can walk for like eight hours. That right along the beach, it goes along different beaches. Um, and there's little hotels and restaurants along the way. Yeah. So I know a lot of people are probably itching to step out. Um, so if you're looking for a remote, tranquil place and be peaceful, feeling good, um, come check out Bayou Drake. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later. Ciao.